Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. And today's DIY is going to be recycling or upcycling wine bottles. So I got this clear uh, wine bottle. This came from uh, IG Winery. So thank you for donating all these great bottles. And we took off the labels. I soaked it in hot water. The label came off really easy. And then I took off the little metal part here and then um, there was no cork in it. So it was just the bottle. Cleaned that up and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the items that I'm gonna be using. Of course, I'm gonna be using my um, acrylic paints from Arteza and this is actually what I wanna show you. All the colors of the rainbow I'm going to be using something along here and some black over here and some white. So we're going to make a really pretty bottle, I hope. And then the other thing I have, I have a painter's tape or frog tape. And I have just two. This is all I have. And then I just have a, this is a palette. It's um, a disposable palette. It's very, it's almost like wax paper. You can use anything. You can use a paper plate or anything like that. And then I have these lights, you guys. It's a cork that has the little fairy lights. So I wanted to show you, there's this little plastic. You just pull that out and you can get these you can get them at the 99 cent store that, and they come in a bottle. It's about $3. Or you can get them on Wish or Amazon as well. So, once that goes, you just look. Isn't that cool? And then this just corks inside the bottle. So, but we're gonna turn those off for right now and we're gonna start doing some painting and decorating. The other thing I have, um, these Arteza paints that I'm going to use. Let me let me get the colors out. I always love opening and just seeing the whole like all the little colors there. My poor little white. I've used it to nothing. It's all gone. So I went and got the large white, and that one's almost gone too. I've just I use white more than anything. I think almost anybody who paints with acrylic uses the white more than anything. So we're gonna be using the titanium white. I think I'm just gonna use here, we've got a Mars black. So got that and then let's see here, we've got a whole array of yellows. So I was um, showing some of my girlfriends I saw on uh, one of those memes that had like, here it says like yellow, orchid, yellow pale, lemon, deep yellow, oxide, like all these different colors. But we see all these different colors, but some people are like, yeah, this is yellow, this is yellow, 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 yellow. <laughs> so, but I think I'm gonna go with a pale, a yellow pale, so. We're gonna go kind of like the spring daisies, I'm thinking. And then the last thing that I'm gonna use, which I don't think I've shown you, <laughs> is these um, cosmetic wedges. So I'm gonna use uh, at least one of those. I'm just gonna pull this right off. Just one of these little guys. So I am now going to move you down there's Stanley keeping watch there. And, oh, he's really keeping watch. So uh, I'm gonna point you down so we can go ahead and do some painting. Okay, so we've got this here. Let me know if you guys like this better than the other ways that I do it, like from the side or um, let's see, actually, before I even put this down, I'm going to take the painter's tape. And you can see the bottle, correct? Let me move it up just a little bit. 
I don't know, it might kind of be a little bit crazy here. Just gonna tighten this up so it doesn't just go crazy. That's still going a little bit crazy. Okay, I went ahead and just switched it entirely because I was having a little bit of issues tightening up my um, camera holder there and or tripod, whatever you'd like to call it. But here again is the bottle and we've got some uh, painter's tape and we're just gonna, it's very easy to tear and it comes off pretty easy as well. So we're just gonna wrap the top here like that. And then line it up so it makes a nice line there. And then we can start here. And we're just gonna kind of, and don't worry about this, as long as the line portion is straight, we're gonna be okay. So Kind of twisting it a little bit. And again, not worrying about this, but what we want to worry about are these outside lines to make sure that they are nice and uh, as uh, flush against the glass as possible. So I'm going to take that and there we go. And then you can just go from like side and we're just making some little geometric shapes is all we're doing here. So you know, I got these bottles from IG Winery, like I said, but I actually um, learned how to paint on glasses at one of their little events as well. So I thought that was cool. We've um, I've painted on mugs there. They have like a paint night. We've painted... Um, what are they called? Like a little beach scene before. So I'm just going and I think this is going to be about all I do here. But I'm overlapping the tape as you can see. And then we're going to go like this. Just gonna tear that. And then just like with my washi, I just flip that over so I'm able to find it again next time. Okay. So I'm just gonna go through these sides again. Make sure, like if you see any like that where paint can go up, just go like that. Making sure all of the edges are as tight as possible. And then let's go ahead and put some color on here. And let's see. Okay. My battery's getting low, so we're going to make it as quick as possible. I'm going to now take the um, yellow here. And I'm going to move this a little bit further down so you can see. You'll see I'm just going to put that here. And it doesn't take a lot. That is way more than I need. I already know this. So I'm going to just take a little bit. And kind of smush it out there. And just start grabbing from here. 
So I'm not going to go this high. I'm just going to go under. And this is a really quick thing here. So all you're doing is you're taking this and going like that. And you can see how fast this bottle is getting done. Really, really fast. And you just want it to be light. You don't want it to be real dark um, because you want to be able to see some of that light flowing through here. So we're just going through. And I'm going to do this throughout the whole bottle. You could change colors if you wanted to. If you wanted to have just this section yellow and then maybe another section um, purple, another section pink for Easter. And then maybe I'm going to decorate with little daisies, but you could decorate with little um, like little bunnies or eggs or anything like that. And don't worry again about it going, like you see how you can see some marks there. That gives it so much um, character. So don't even worry about that at all. We're gonna go ahead, and this is already starting to dry. Look at that. So nothing. So this is a really quick project. It's not anything you have to really wait for. It would be a great little project to do with kids or to do with, um, you know, if you have a quick gift that you need, you can do this with the colors of somebody's house. I mean, really, a really cute idea. So now I'm going to go through here and just doing the whole thing. So I haven't done just a regular kind of upcycle DIY in a while. So I really have been wanting to do this, but um, Tony brought me some, some bottles, so I thought that was really cool. And you wanna be careful that you don't like get your finger stuck in there, but you can hold like just a little bit and then hold the top. It's not, um, this part's already dry, but I'm only touching the painter's tape at this point. So again, we're just moving that around, not even paying attention to the, um, the painter's tape, but I do wanna tell you when doing the painter's tape, if you could see, I'm just going up and down. I'm not like going across. And the reason being is I like this little um, cross hatch that it's kind of giving. But more than that is I, I don't want to get anything under that painter's tape in case I did miss a little bubble or something. So with this much paint, it can easily get under that. So, and always have a mat <laughs> or paper or something because even here I wasn't paying attention and I'm, I'm getting it all over my mat. So, and the other thing is you want to make sure you don't, like I'm just going over right now, It'll start, if it dries, it'll start pulling the other up. So once you're done, kind of leave it. So you can see it's pulling up a little bit there. So I'll have to remember that. Oh look, we're almost done. And there we go. See, I wanna do this, and I just told you don't do it. But here I am and I wanna do it because I didn't want to see the little holes, but I'm being very light <laughs> and I know better, but yeah. Do as I say, not as I do, I think is what's going on here because I can already tell I should not have done that. So there we go. You can see that's a little bit darker in that spot. 
And then that's it. We're gonna let that dry for a little bit. And then, I mean, it's almost all dry already. So I'm gonna start at the top here. And we're gonna take this off now. So everything I put on, we're now gonna take off. And it comes off really easily. The parts that are gonna be a little bit harder are the parts that are connecting to each other, like these two pieces. Let me show you. These two pieces here. So once I get this off, it'll be much easier. So we'll just pull that around and pull that around and then we'll pull that straight down and you see those nice lines that are coming out so and I just save those pieces right over there and they'll go into the trash bin off and thank you guys so much for just watching my channel I know that some people have stated that I talk too much or it's takes too long but you guys if I want to show you like this is how long it takes and it's not like I'm stopping and just chit-chatting but um, even when I do, I enjoy that too. Every so often, I just have to share things with you guys. So, there's that. That was easy enough. And so now we have this bottle with all of these little lights and stuff on it. And now, I'm going to take that white... And we're going to draw like some little daisies on here. So I'm only going to use a little bit. <laughs> I'll be end up putting more, I'm sure. But I don't, I use a lot of white so much. So I'm going to take the, I have two sizes. I have a little guy and I have this bigger guy. I'm just going to take the bigger guy and put some white on here all the way around the tip. And then this is all pretty dry. I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to put just like this across that way and make a cross. And then we're going to go like this. And again, like this. And so we've got like just a little flower there. And you can see I started on the yellow, but then I went down into the white. And if you don't like the way it's coming out, just go over it again. And we're gonna do a few of these. And don't be afraid to make them bigger or smaller, however you'd like. So I'll do this one a little bit bigger there. And I mean, you're not going to believe how fast this is. It's kind of crazy how fast this goes. Oh, apparently we're going to do a nice big one right here. That's what my brush said we were going to do. And I am not worrying about 
oh, this is not exactly how a flower looks because the flowers look however they want to look. In real life and on my painting. So there's that. And I think we'll put another one here. And then maybe a couple little ones. So again, as you can tell, I mean, I'm literally just making little tiny X's on top of X's. So for the small ones, it's even easier. So we've got a small one there. We'll do a little one here. And then how about a little one down here? Okay, so apparently somebody doesn't want me to make videos because my camera shut off, I ran out of room, and now I'm at 6%. So I'm going to make this quick. Now I've got all my little flowers. I'm going to take that black. We're almost done. Can you believe it? I'm going to take that black and this I'm going to use even less. That's enough. I'm pretty sure that's enough. We'll see. So I'm going to take just that little guy. And I'm going to draw just a little circle there. And you could take like the back of this and dip that in there and then just go like that. And that could probably work well for you also. See there. But the bigger ones you might want a little bit bigger. So I think for the bigger, We'll use this. I'm trying to do it a little bit fast. But don't worry if it's not perfect, perfectly round. Because we're going to add little stems anyways. Look, we're all done there. So now I'm going to take this little guy and I'm going to kind of just add some little bits of like that. And I'm going to do that to each of them, even the smaller ones. And I'm just holding my thumb like this so that it kind of gives me a little bit of, oh, I missed that one. Gives me a little bit of, um, see, that, that one I goofed up just a little bit. But just pushing it against there and giving it a little bit of, I don't know what they're called. But you know how flowers do that, right? So I'm going to show you because I'm running out of time. After I do that, and I'll do this all off camera um, and show you the final result. But now I'm going to take that white again. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a little dot 
in there as well. Just give it a little, a little dot in there. Like that. So I'll show you. There's the little guys. And then you see a, a big guy. There's the big guy there. And so now I'm going to paint all these afterwards, but I want to show you before I run out, you just take these guys and you stick it in there. And then the cork goes right in there. And then when you're ready for a little night light or something, you turn that on and look at how cute that is. Can you see that? It's adorable. It is not doing justice. Look at that one. Once that's all painted up, this is going to be super cute. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish painting the black and then I'm going to record it in the dark and in the light and take some pictures for you. But I mean, it looks adorable as is, super cute. And then I'll show you another one done in a baby blue as well. So, all right beauties, I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry I have to run, but um, the camera, I don't want it to shut off. So have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, one last thing. I want to show you that I'm taking the end of that little guy and picking up some paint there. And then I'm just putting some little dots. Let's see here. Just like that. Grabbing some more. And putting little dots all over. So that'll give it another little bit of dimension for you. Okay, here it is, nice and finished. This is the yellow one that I just did for you guys. And it is so cute. And then here is a blue one. I just have the masking tape is a little bit thinner, but same exact styles going on there. So, I hope you enjoy this. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up. If you want to purchase any of the products from Arteza, I will go ahead and put a link down below. All right, beauties, thank you so much for joining me. And again, I hope you have a wonderful evening.